Look at that, my, I just uh, walked in the kitchen and came back and my glasses are laying on uh, well, I guess you just Describe sit on What an angry husband. What an angry husband. That's called gaslighting. Really? You set your, really? you set your big butt on them. Really? So, you. you that's, that's how I found right. my. He's trying to say that I sat on my glasses oh, yeah. and they ended oh, up like yeah. that. You were sitting over there, you sat over there and videotaped me from there. You sat on them and videotaped me from right there. That's videotape from right there. I'm in the corner of the chair. You sat on him, dumbass. And you're gonna videotape me? That's awesome. You are up next. Go ahead. I think it's great. It's called gaslighting. All right, well, let's go being stupid. My glasses would uh, magically. They were like this when I found them. Like you sat on them. You sat exactly right there. When you're videotaping, yelling at me, you sat right there. I haven't moved. I have not moved. I sat right here. How would I know? Well, look at the film you just filmed me and you argued about. You're yelling at me. Where were you filming from? Exactly where you're sitting. Your butthole was right there. I went in the kitchen. I've been gone for a long time. Well, not long enough. Look at that. Gaslighting. Gaslighting. Don't don't blame ick, other people, Lisa. Ick, ick, you shouldn't blame ick, other people. Ick, that's 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 a that's a wimpy thing to do is to blame other people for your fault. You did it. You did it, Lisa. Lisa Davis did it. But you blame other people. You are a blamer. You're a blamer. You blame people. You know what? When I met that's him, sad. That's so sad. I moved in with him in 1994 in his house. And about, I don't even know, not long after, I had some, uh, I had some uh, commercial, you know, or whatever, over the counter sleeping pills that went, that were next to my bed and they went gone. I mean, they were disappeared. I'm like, oh my God, we have ghosts. And they showed up at the exact same place on the dresser. Like, why did you have sleeping pills? Years, years later. Years later. Why did you have sleeping pills, Lisa? Well, I don't know. I guess that's I didn't. Why did you have any? But it doesn't matter why. But I never had a prescription or anything in my life. But you have. The but you did. The but you did. You right. had them because you said you did. You just admitted you had them. You had sleeping pills. I've never in my life had sleeping pills. See, that's narcissism. No, why would I have ever? I've never used Live them. Live and in person. I've never used them. So, the, 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 again, the pill bottles. The blame, pill. blame other people for poor Lisa, poor Chelsea. Come on. Grow up. So, the pill bottle went missing next to my bed. And it showed up. 1994? You lost a pill bottle in 1994. Yeah. It was sitting Are next to my bed. Up? It's 2023. And, and then it Lisa, showed up like two years later <laughs> in the exact same spot. Two years later. Two years later. Two years later in the exact same spot that it went missing from. So 92. Did you take them? After they showed up for 30 years? Did you trust them and take Did you put them in your mouth? Did you go, I don't know. Stove, spray, your kitchen, appliance. Yes. And then, oh, it's a pack of That means like 20 years later. I'll take the Stephen Mills. They just showed up. Yes. And then, um, I'm, I'm not really smart, but I'll take them. Uh, this is a really bad video. I don't care, Lisa, you're dumb. From 1994. 1994. I will never. After knowing what has happened to me now, I mean, that is like the most prevalent thing that sticks out in my mind. When I first started uh, living with you in 1994, I had a bottle of uh, over-the-counter sleeping pills next to my bedside table. Uh, let me finish. And they disappeared when? one day. Okay. And I'm like, oh my God, we have ghosts. Because then they reappeared. Do you believe in ghost towns? Well, I, I was like, 
He believes in ghosts. Well, uh, when you talk to most targeted people, we have the same stories. 1994. You brush things off. How many years? So ago I had this bottle of sleeping pills that went okay. disappeared from my nightstand, from my nightstand next to my bed, and they reappeared that was like ago. Lisa, that was they reappeared ago. like a year later, a year later. Did you take them? And I'm like, we have a ghost. We have a ghost. So that was 30 years ago. You're saying 1994 that this happened 30 years ago. Yes. You're bringing it up right now. Absolutely. Did you bring it up? Absolutely. Absolutely. I will not. What? What? I'm just like fist. Suspiciously making this so up? 30 years ago, I don't know. What the hell? So, what happened to the signal rolls after you found them? Who knows? You don't know? But well, you remember that. Oh, you don't well, remember what do you, what do you think? They just up well, and hope disappeared again? You can't again? remember that. What you did with them, but you remember that they just showed up. So, well, what, what happened to them? What? Why did you, you take them? Is that prevalent? The moral of this story is what happened? You remember that they, they disappeared. But you were so smart. But that they you disappeared. But you were so smart that you remembered in 1994 that they disappeared and they showed up. But what happened to them after that? Because you must remember because you're so brilliant at it. But the point is, now that I know I'm a victim of this horrible crime, it's called gaslighting. Oh, you're a genius. Yes, it's called gaslighting. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you know. I'm like, holy I shit. I understand completely. Really? I, I would too. What do you understand I completely? I understand that you're nuts. <laughs> holy shit, you're fucking nuts. Because what? Uh, because uh, you're a genius in 1994, but you don't remember what happened to the pills. But they did disappeared you take them? from but, my bedside but, okay, table. Okay, but when did they show back up? Years later. How many years later? Well, I don't know. What I don't remember. Later. Where were they? But on my bedside table. Well, then you don't remember. Really. But yeah, well, I, I mean, I repeated this story like a hundred times over. Let me make sure. I repeated mean it's true, Lisa. this. You repeat story. things doesn't mean it's true. I'm sorry. It but it does. does. No, but it does. It's, In your mind, it's, it does. It's relevant. It doesn't it's matter. relevant. Well, I'm happy it, for you. It's I can't called. Help you. It's called I can't gaslighting. Help you. No, you think it's. It's called gaslighting because you know what. Because when, you don't know what you do. What, when, you just can't make up things in this say it's gaslighting. You can't do it, Lisa. You well, can't make up stuff. No. But I'm telling you when oh, I, then I believe when you. everything Well then I believe you because when, you're telling me when I went to a domestic abuse shelter oh, she's a and I told her How what was happening. She okay. said Does she have a degree? Can I finish? Did she go to college? Can I finish? Well, what's her degree? How Maybe smart is she, she does. Maybe but you don't even know. But let me finish. Why did you believe her, though? So I told her. I got it. it. Why did you believe her, though? Tell me one reason that why 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 did she have such a profound? Why did you believe her? Because she, I told her my story, and she said, "Have you ever heard the word ga gaslighting?" Which I had not. Nineteen fifties a movie. Yeah. Well, but okay. it's still a, a term in the right, right. In, so because in you, the dictionary. Because you. In the dictionary. So because she got you on a new term, you believed it. No. It, it is. I'll, I'll bet you never heard of gaslighting before she told you. Well, of course I didn't. Well, there you go. And then it's she, gotta be true. It I be. told her. That has to be true. I, I told her that you're smarter than. No, no, Lisa, you, you can't. You're not smarter than a fucking fifth grader. <laughs> you're not but I told this woman okay. what was happening in my life. Okay. And she said. Right. And you actually here, said that she I'm molesting all these kids. And they asked them all in grade school, and they said, no, Lisa, my grandma's nuts. No. Otherwise, I'd be in She jail. said she's a domestic abuse shelter advocate. Oh, and, then she's and she goes, this well, sounds she like gaslighting. Well, I would believe her. And she brought up the word gaslighting on so the internet. So I would believe her because she's and obviously so fucking smart anyway, that she works at a shelter. Anyway, I love her. I left Lisa, there that day, on. and uh, within oh, weeks, oh, I ended up leaving my my, my home, my change. husband of Please however many years, know, went to a domestic do, abuse said, shelter. Okay, it's dumb. You're I went to a domestic board. abuse I'm shelter, sure. and you then I stayed a very short time. Yeah, and because they couldn't stand you. Yeah, well, you couldn't stand me? No, they couldn't. You kicked out. They didn't kick me out. Why, why didn't you stay there? The domestic abuse. Why did you come back? 
It was so bad that you came back here. A bottle? No. No, you did. You did. You're here now. I love the domestic. But it was so bad that Lisa Davis couldn't stand it. And they're doing all this gaslighting on Lisa Davis. But you're here back in the home, so it must have been pretty bad. Yeah, no, I left the domestic abuse shelter, got an apartment, and that's when the gang stalking went wild. Which is something I had no, no clue about. So through research, research, I, I ended up finding that term. I can't argue stupidity, I just can't do it, so shut up. So it's just through, you know, all the things that were happening in this apartment building. Yeah, in your apartment. What happened to your apartment? Gaslighting? Whoa. Well, why did you leave the apartment, Lisa? So anyway. Don't hide behind your phone. So then I, uh, what happened? So the what happened? apartment. Yeah, then what happened, Lisa? Well, what happened at your apartment, Lisa? Can I talk? I want to know what happened well, at your apartment. Be quiet Honestly, for a second. Answer. I will be quiet for a second. With so in that time that I lived in that apartment building, everything got crazy. I started experiencing what I learned to be gang stalking, oh and, and which really? led me to you were at that apartment and gaslighting and gas stalking happened at your apartment. And then I think I, there's one common denominator. Her name is Lisa fucking Davis. And then <laughs> pretty I, obvious. You had a shelter lady that's super fucking smart. She has a job at a shelter. Tell you something, and you believe it. She's smart. I believe her. Anyway, so she's smart. through research, I found a targeted individual, and I'm like, oh my god, this is what's happening to me. Karen Melton Stewart was one of the first people I talked to. I was able to. I was able to get out of. I was able to get out of my lease through the domestic abuse shelter with a law called organized stalking law. I was able to get out of my lease with an organized gang stalking law. Lisa, why did you come back here? If it was that bad, why did you come back? Well, I had no idea my husband was involved in this kind of... Well, order. you must have because the shelter lady told you it was. And then you came back anyway? That's strange. Because now you're saying, you know, the, she told you that it's gaslighting. And she's really smart, fucking brilliant. And you came back to the house. So why would you do that if you you believe that it was all happening? Why would you come back to a place that... That's like going back to an abusive place where they beat the shit out of you and you went back to them. Why would you do that? Why would you go back to a place that is abusive? Our family to yours. Why would... Answer my question. Why would you come back when it's a place that's so bad? Why would you come back? Can I talk? Well, I'm waiting Can for I the talk? Answer. You just said the shelter said. Turn the TV on. Could you please turn the TV on? So you can come back home. Can you please turn the TV on so everybody can make sure they hear this video? This yeah, video. Yeah, you, yeah, because I had no idea the magnitude of this freaking crime. Well, even if it was a small magnitude, why would you come back? The small magnitude? Because well, this obviously is my you home. said it's happening. Well, why well, would anybody? in their right mind well, come back to a place you're, that's doing you're it You're still uh, pursuing me for one thing. What? Yes, we, we had sex. I was sex. here and I didn't pursue we, you. Yeah. I mean, we still got together and went out. And, you pursued uh, me. I got texts. You called me. Well, I'm your wife you, you of 30 years. Back. But it was that bad. But If it was so bad, but why again, would anybody in their right mind come back? But what did I not Answer know was question. so bad yet? Answer my question. But, but, well, but she said at the shelter that you were being gaslighted. But I still had and no idea. And you still came back. But I still, why would anybody do that? Because this is my why? home. What? This is my home. Oh. I own this home. You I own this me. home. You so why know. would I not your come home? Not, this is my home. home. This is my home. Oh. So when I was in a rental facility that I realized my neighbors were participating sure. in okay. icky, icky stuff. They were oh, pounding on the walls. And my grandchildren were like, Grandma, 
talked to the office. These Last people, they, they couldn't go to sleep because the people next door were just bizarre. They were, they were screaming and yelling and breaking things. That's your dumbass fault, Lisa. You went there. You're to blame for that. You went there and rented an apartment in an apartment building. Now you're going to complain about it? Whose fault is that? How guilt, how awful. How well, you did how it. In, I didn't do it. How incriminating is this You did video? it, Lisa. How incriminating so is this So you're complaining video? that you went to, oh, you rented an apartment, and it was so bad, they're pounding on the wall, it's so miserable. But who went there in the first place? Well, yeah. Because, you but know, what? I, I had no idea. I thought my grandkids were being harmed. I told the police. It, it, I talked to the police and they said, you know, show us some evidence. You know, I had horrible things. I woke up finding a cell phone hidden. I hid a cell phone. And when I found that cell phone hidden, there was like this couple minute video that I, I mean, you couldn't comprehend what was on it. It was like these, uh, strange, it was strange. It was very abrupt uh Lisa, they it looked like Lisa? somebody was panning my grandson's bedroom i right. never could you know see what happened they asked all the kids and then all the kids said no and they said grandma's nuts and then they uh, panned this uh anybody so this two minute family, video less than two minute video that i found on this cell phone that was, but it was but it was so bad that you came back uh, anyway That's i crazy. Uh, no, I, I think it was the smartest thing I did because this is my home and they can't kick me out. And they can't Ooh, have man. liars. They can't have uh, rental liars, you know, trying to kick you out and make you homeless. I own this home. So I came home, home and I had still no you idea. Chelsea, the magnitude. The I had no idea. Your name's not on the home. I had no Lisa, idea. Your name is not on the home. How can you own the home? Uh, it's not my name is not no, on this home. No, really? Of course not. Why not? Because you haven't your name's on the home. You didn't pay anything. Well, look at that. Well, wait. What? If, how much is the mortgage? Really? But what? Well, why did you have me go to the bank and I had to forfeit like my uh, whole? Uh, uh, um, what do you call it? Your uh, I uh, refund because you said that we were gonna lose the house and I had to sign over. I went to the bank and signed over my whole income tax refund to help the mortgage pay for uh, a, a delinquent whatever. But I don't own the home, but I could still go to the bank and sign over like so how much you, it was how, like three or four or five thousand dollars. So how much is our mortgage payment? And it was our mortgage company. Well, it's been many. Car Carrington mortgage, mortgage right now, what right? Your house payment. How much do you pay? Well, I don't pay anything. And do you? <laughs> do you? No. Do you, Tom? No, you I, know what? I, My I, husband I, makes like so many thousand dollars a year. My husband makes, you can look at so, what my husband so makes a year. why would you say that you don't pay any payments for this your house? Why would someone say that? But I still do. I'm your wife and I was put on disability. Well, you got $50,000. And sickness and, and then You got $50,000 on a thing and I didn't get nothing. No, I didn't. So it should be mine. Listen, yeah, it's Lisa. Listen to this guy. Really? You didn't? I bet you oh I Oh my I God, that. you look really you, bad. You didn't get a settlement for $50,000. So anyway, he, Are you lying? He, he got us off the subject of where we were that was yeah, really important. Where know. were we? Uh, 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 shoot, we were really at uh, an, a, a critical spot of this horrible crime documenting it. This is what happens in the United States of America. Your husband can marry you and traffic you. When I met this man, when I met this man, I'm not going to cry. Freaking strong as an ox. Strong as an ox. When this whole thing went overt, and I. It's pretty scary, isn't it? Pretty awful. So, uh, again, just to reiterate. We started using the uh, applications like 
Wiggle Wi-Fi, Netmonster, Netmonitor. The very first two people was his first cousin, Curtis Davis. And he was uh, about a mile away if at, at that. And he owns a TV station. He petitioned the, the city for a TV tower in the 80s. And he actually, I met him from my purse partner, Dave Sharp, my children's father. In the early 80s, I had no idea it was my cousin, my husband's cousin, until like a decade ago. And, uh, and the and second the person that was on the applications was the Kohlers, uh, the Kohlers, John Kohler, who my husband directed me to a rental. I directed you? Yeah. Well, and and, uh, and his mother out. worked for us a, uh, for yeah, the assisted they, living. You do it on your own? <laughs> so <laughs> development soda cyber torture it's a really ugly crime when you can marry someone it has intentions to traffic and broadcast and torture your family. I had three children when I met this man and he let me have another child with him. And we're all on the OFAC watch list. And, uh, Not a very good talker. Here we are. It's the truth. To look Minnesota. Your 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 family, your spouse, your community can traffic you, torture you for a hidden global economy. You can't say it's not happening when I have computer forensic evidence that I wrote to the Department of Homeland Security's Chief Information Officer's house. Untold numbers of uh, research institutions, you know, aerospace companies, education, medical, and my, my computer, and my network, my environment. And, uh, this needs to stop. It needs to stop. And if not, you know, I'm just documenting for history, for my family, for my family. My poor daughter's being tortured to death with voice to skull, brain to confederate and face torture. She had her life stolen entire life stolen. She was born into this awful ugliness. She had no chance. She had no chance in hell. <laughs> and I won't be quiet. Documenting today, 11, 29, 20, 23, Wednesday, to live Minnesota. Over now.